In 1959, Some Like It Hot sizzled onto the silver screen, captivating audiences with its hilarious antics and unforgettable performances. Some Like It Hot is a classic comedy film released in 1959. It was directed by Billy Wilder and starred Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon in the leading roles. The film follows the story of two musicians, played by Curtis and Lemmon, who witness a mob hit and disguise themselves as women to escape the mobsters. They join an all-female band and befriend Sugar Kane, played by Monroe, leading to a series of comedic misunderstandings and romantic entanglements. Today, we're taking a trip back in time to revisit the iconic cast of this timeless comedy and see where they are now. Join us as we explore the, then and now, of the actors who brought, some like it hot, to life. First up, we have the incomparable Marilyn Monroe, who portrayed the enchanting sugar cane Kowalczyk. With her radiant beauty and undeniable talent, Monroe lit up the screen and stole the hearts of audiences around the world. Marilyn Monroe as Sugar Cane Kowalczyk. Marilyn Monroe, born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California, graced the world with her ethereal beauty and captivating screen presence. Monroe's most successful role came as Sugar Cane Kowalczyk in the timeless comedy, Some Like It Hot. Biography. Monroe's early life was marked by hardship and uncertainty. Raised in foster homes and orphanages, she longed for stability and success. Determined to make her mark on the world, Monroe pursued a career in modeling and acting, catching the eye of Hollywood's elite with her undeniable talent and allure. Monroe's career. As Monroe's star ascended, she became a symbol of glamour and sensuality, captivating audiences with her performances in films such as, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, and, The Seven Year Itch. However, it was her role as Sugar Cane Kowalczyk in, Some Like It Hot, that solidified her status as a cinematic legend. Most Successful Roles While Monroe delivered many memorable performances throughout her career, her portrayal of Sugar Cane Kowalczyk remains one of her most iconic roles. With her intoxicating charm and comedic timing, Monroe brought depth and vulnerability to the character, earning her critical acclaim and adoration from fans worldwide. Most Prestigious Awards Monroe's talent and beauty earned her widespread recognition and numerous awards and nominations throughout her career. Although she did not receive any major awards for her role in, Some Like It Hot, Monroe's impact on the world of cinema continues to be celebrated to this day. Marilyn Monroe's tragic death at the age of 36 shocked the world and left a void in Hollywood that has never been filled. Tony Curtis as Joe. Tony Curtis, born Bernard Schwartz on June 3, 1925 in the Bronx, New York, was a versatile actor known for his charisma and range. Curtis's most successful role came as Joe, Josephine in the classic comedy, Some Like It Hot. Biography. Curtis's journey to stardom was marked by determination and resilience. Raised in a working-class neighborhood, he overcame adversity to pursue his dreams of becoming an actor. With his rugged good looks and undeniable talent, Curtis quickly rose through the ranks of Hollywood's elite. Curtis's career. Throughout his illustrious career, Curtis showcased his versatility as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between dramatic and comedic roles. From his breakout performance in, Some Like It Hot, to his acclaimed work in films like, The Defiant Ones, and, Spartacus, Curtis left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Most successful roles. While Curtis delivered many memorable performances throughout his career, his portrayal of Joe, Josephine in, Some Like It Hot, remains one of his most beloved roles. With his impeccable comic timing and chemistry with co-stars, Curtis brought heart and humor to the character, earning him praise from fans and critics alike. Most prestigious awards. Curtis's talent and dedication to his craft earned him recognition from his peers in the entertainment industry. He received numerous awards and nominations throughout his career, including an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor for his role in The Defiant Ones. Tony Curtis passed away on September 29, 2010, at the age of 85, due to cardiac arrest. Jack Lemmon as Jerry, Daphne. Jack Lemmon, born John Uller Lemmon III on February 8, 1925, in Newton, Massachusetts, was a legendary actor known for his versatility and charm. Lemmon's most successful role came as Jerry, Daphne in the classic comedy, Some Like It Hot. Biography. Lemon's journey to becoming one of Hollywood's most beloved actors was marked by talent, determination, and an irrepressible spirit. 
Raised in a supportive family environment, he discovered his love for acting at a young age and pursued it with unwavering passion. Lemon's career. Throughout his illustrious career, Lemon showcased his remarkable range as an actor, effortlessly transitioning between comedic and dramatic roles. From his early successes in films like, Some Like It Hot, to his later work in acclaimed dramas such as, The Apartment, and, Save the Tiger, Lemon captivated audiences with his wit, warmth, and humanity. Most successful roles. While Lemon delivered many memorable performances throughout his career, his portrayal of Jerry, Daphne and, Some Like It Hot, remains one of his most iconic roles. With his impeccable comic timing and endearing portrayal of a man disguised as a woman, Lemon stole the hearts of audiences and solidified his status as a comedic genius. Most prestigious awards. Lemon's talent and dedication to his craft earned him widespread acclaim and numerous awards and nominations throughout his career. He won two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor for his performances in Mr. Roberts, 1955, and Save the Tiger, 1973, showcasing his versatility and skill as an actor. Jack Lemon passed away on June 27, 2001, at the age of 76, due to complications from metastatic cancer. George Raft as Spatz Colombo. George Raft, born George Ranft on September 26, 1901, in New York City, was a charismatic actor known for his tough guy persona and smooth demeanor. Raft's most successful role came as the menacing mobster Spatz Colombo in the classic comedy, Some Like It Hot. Biography. Raft's early life was marked by hardship and adversity, growing up in the tough neighborhoods of New York City. He found solace in dancing, developing a passion for the art form that would later lead him to Hollywood stardom. Raft's career. With his suave charm and undeniable screen presence, Raft quickly rose to prominence in Hollywood's golden age. He became known for his portrayals of gangsters and tough guys, earning him a reputation as one of Tinseltown's most compelling leading men. Raft's role as Spatz Colombo in, Some Like It Hot, showcased his talent for playing ruthless villains with flair. Most successful roles. While Raft delivered many memorable performances throughout his career, his portrayal of Spatz Colombo in, Some Like It Hot, remains one of his most iconic roles. Most prestigious awards. Despite his talent and popularity, George Raft never received any major awards or nominations for his performances. George Raft passed away on November 24, 1980, at the age of 79, due to emphysema and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD. H. Pat O'Brien as Detective Mulligan. Pat O'Brien, born William Joseph O'Brien Jr. on November 11, 1899, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was a versatile actor known for his strong screen presence and commanding voice. O'Brien's most successful role came as Detective Mulligan in the classic comedy, Some Like It Hot. Biography. O'Brien's early life was marked by a love for sports, particularly baseball, which he excelled in during his youth. However, a chance encounter with a traveling theater troupe ignited a passion for acting that would shape the course of his life. O'Brien's career. Throughout his career, O'Brien showcased his versatility as an actor, effortlessly transitioning between dramatic and comedic roles. With his authoritative presence and rugged charm, he became a fixture in classic films, earning him admiration from audiences and critics alike. O'Brien's role as Detective Mulligan in, Some Like It Hot, highlighted his knack for playing no-nonsense authority figures with a hint of humor. Most successful roles. While O'Brien delivered many memorable performances throughout his career, his portrayal of Detective Mulligan in, Some Like It Hot, remains one of his most beloved roles. Most prestigious awards. Pat O'Brien's talent and dedication to his craft earned him recognition from his peers in the entertainment industry. Although he did not receive any major awards for his role in, Some Like It Hot, O'Brien's contributions to film and television continue to be celebrated by audiences around the world. Pat O'Brien passed away on October 15, 1983, at the age of 83, due to a heart attack. As we conclude our journey through the lives and careers of these remarkable actors from, Some Like It Hot, we're reminded of the laughter and joy they've brought into our lives. From George Raft's menacing portrayal of Spatz Colombo to Pat O'Brien's authoritative Detective Mulligan, and Joe E. Brown's unforgettable Osgood Fielding III, each actor left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. We hope you've enjoyed this nostalgic trip down memory lane and gained a deeper appreciation for the timeless comedy of, Some Like It Hot. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into your favorite films and stars.